After a generation jam-packed with realistic races that have made it their mission to teach us to drive clean and race fair, Wreckfest arrives like a sharp but needed kick in the shins. Forget driving etiquette, this is the automotive equivalent of a bar brawl, and it's absolutely outstanding. Assembled by Finnish destruction racing specialist Bugbear, Wreckfest rekindles the door-slamming spirit of their original flat-out games and brings it back to life inside the best demolition derby game in over a decade. Don't be deceived by Wreckfest's overt focus on metal-rending mayhem. This is not an arcade smash em up carved from the burnout block. It's a true successor to the likes of Destruction Derby, the original Flat Out, and the criminally underrated Test Drive Eve of Destruction. There's actually a serious driving model beneath all this over-the-top elbows-out competition, and conquering the cars here requires more than hope and a heavy right foot, you need some genuine skill. Hulking American muscle cars and land yachts squat back on their worn springs and need to be wrestled into heroic Hollywood power slides and steered on the throttle. Smaller European and Japanese models are nimbler, but they're also lighter and prone to pitching themselves into lethal tank slappers. The special vehicles are another story altogether, from the top-heavy, rollover-prone double-decker cars and school buses to the huge harvester with its distinctive rear-wheel steering. There's also the... Uh, motorized couch! which probably could have done with some wheelie bars. There are significant differences in grip from mud or gravel to tarmac, but with Wreckfest's well-tuned sense of weight and friction, the handling overall is smashing. <laughs> Equally smashing, of course, is the actual smashing, whether you're careening through trackside objects or mercilessly poleaxing your opposition. Wreckfest's wonderful soft body dynamics mean the cars can be bruised, battered, and bent beyond recognition. The level of damage goes well clear of most other driving games, certainly most everything this side of the realistic car crashing sim BeamNG Drive, which uses similar soft body tech. Wreckfest actually has two damage levels you can pick from, normal and realistic. Normal, which makes cars tough but not invincible, is more fun because you can take a few hits and keep going, but I do enjoy the challenge of playing with realistic damage, where just one mistake can see you limping to the finish line missing a wheel. It's compulsively addictive. Debris from collisions is persistent too, and every new lap lays down more evidence of the high-speed war playing out on track. By the end of a race, it's likely you'll be wading through a carpet of metal shards, splintered wood, scattered tires, and shattered concrete. The sheer amount of mess left in the aftermath of races is wild and yet almost never affects frame rate. I've had some bad slowdown on Xbox fighting through a field of tightly packed RVs tearing each other to bits, but other than that, it's been extremely stable. The AI deserves a special mention as well for giving as good as it takes and their tough but fallible foes. They ruin my races occasionally, but remember, that's the point. Getting dive-bombed, T-boned and unloaded in the middle of a drift is all part of the experience and forces us to race defensively and take different lines through corners. There's no penalty for doing the same thing back to them, so have at it. Despite my love for cult favourite Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, I'm happy Bugbear has opted for a more sanctioned, grassroots motorsport feel here in Wreckfest. There's a level of authenticity to the ovals, dirt tracks and rallycross circuits that really suits Wreckfest's tone as a serious destruction derby game at heart. There's still plenty of wild stuff here though, like an insanely dangerous loop-to-loop -loop track, deadly figure eights, courses that double back on themselves, and derby bowls that are basically skate parks for cars. That credibility extends to the cars too, which are some of the coolest vehicles I've seen in a racing game. Each has been meticulously detailed to look like a hand-painted, hastily welded rust bucket. And while they're not licensed, gearheads are sure to recognize a classic Volvo 240 Estate, a Honda CRX, or a Mark 1 Escort when they see them. They all sound as cool as they look too. There are a ton of great visual customization options and liveries available, though Wreckfest is definitely screaming for some kind of rudimentary paint editor where we can spray our own numbers and messages. Performance tuning is included too, but it's a bit disappointing Bugbear opted to ape the Forza and Need for Speed approach with clean and sterile upgrade menus that are in conflict with the grungy junkyard spirit we're bathed in everywhere else. It's also a bit annoying that you can't save and quickly apply different setups for cars, like an armored up derby ready beast for last car standing events and a stripped down speedster for race events. There's no cost to reapply owned upgrades, but it's a bit of unnecessary dicking about. There are plenty of pre-made events in Wreckfest, but while Bugbear has been patient in rationing out its tracks through the five tiers of career races, the event types do get a little repetitive. Online multiplayer is on hand to stretch out that lifespan, but I expect I'll get more value out of the event editor. See if you can last 20 laps against two dozen buses on a lawnmower.
Wreckfest is the long overdue return of serious, high quality destruction racing, and in that admittedly slim niche, it's the king of the crop. It lacks a little spark off the track, but out in the thick of it, it's some of the most frantic fun you can have on four wheels. I play plenty of serious races, but sometimes it's nice to toss the rule book in the fire and get out in the mud and trade some paint. If you like racing with a little rubbing involved, check out our review for Dangerous Driving and our latest look at the upcoming grid. For everything else, stick with IGN.